we're going to go over processing of tickets and changing of status. You can see here that most of these tickets are blue, meaning they're pending. That means they don't require immediate attention. The tickets that are red require attention today. Let's take a look at some of these from top to bottom. This ticket here is not assigned to a support agent. That means that no one is going to get a notification when, um, even if this ticket was pending or if there's any comments made on this ticket. This is how tickets start off and PagerDuty alerts us that there's a need to categorize a ticket. But if there's been a comment made, someone needs to be assigned and a date needs to be set to respond. Let's open it up. So here we can see there's a simple issue and an agent responded to the ticket uh, and asked the homeowner to try something to help this problem out, which is a great start, but this ticket needs to be assigned to somebody. And then since this is not a priority customer or a E plus customer, we don't need to respond today. Uh, we can set this to pending to pop back up. First I'll choose an agent since it doesn't really matter in this case who responds to this ticket. We just need to know if this simple step um, solved the problem or if it needs to be scheduled. I'll assign it to Suzanne, service coordinator. I'm also going to set a date of Monday morning since it's currently Saturday. And I'm going to change the due date or the due time to 8 a.m. and I'm going to correct the time zone to make sure it's our time zone. I can also fill out any drop-down fields here. We know this is a spontaneous failure. We don't yet know whether on-site is needed or whether it's going to be solved by a reboot. That's enough information now. The most important step is to set this to pending so that at 8 a.m. on Monday, Suzanne's going to get notified that she needs to look into this ticket and take any further action. The next red ticket is something that the installer is out or the service technician is working on today. I'm going to leave this one alone. It doesn't need to be responded to right this minute since the installer is actually um, in the field. However, because I know that he's taking uh, responsibility for this ticket, I'm going to assign it to him. At the end of the day, there should be a comment on this ticket and its status should change to either pending um, or solved. Our screen hasn't refreshed, but that should show up here very shortly. This next ticket um, is also something that the installer was working on today, so I'll close it for now. Uh, we'll check again at the end of the day to make sure that a comment has been posted and this ticket uh, has been solved or the status has been changed. There we go, we can see that other ticket pop down here. This ticket here just popped back up because we need to ping this client and see if this ongoing issue is addressed or if it needs further action. It's red, so before the end of the day it needs attention. All the installer needs to do here is set uh, send a message to the homeowner and ask them if their problem is still ongoing. And then importantly, change the due date to the next day that he's working, which I happen to know is Tuesday, and then change that time to 8 a.m. and then set this to pending. That way, this installer or this service technician who is working on this ticket is going to be notified of any um, updates and if there is no update, he's going to be pinged again on his next workday to make sure that um, this gets followed up on. I'm not going to make these changes right now because I know that he's going to do this by the end of the day. So I'll cancel those changes. Last is a ticket here that's currently assigned to our service coordinator. Sam made some adjustments and the customer is going to let us know whether or not those were satisfactory or not. It is assigned to the correct person, a service coordinator. The only problem is it's not set to pending. It's still set to open, 
So she's not going to get notified that action needs to be taken to follow up with this customer if they don't follow back up with us. I'm going to change this to Monday, and you can see the prior due date was set in the past, so that's definitely never going to pop back up. I'll set it for Monday at 8 a.m. The time zone is correct, and everything else is filled out. The important step here is to set this to pending. And here we go. This is how things should look. All the tickets have been followed up and a due date has been set. The status has been changed depending, except for the few that are being worked on today. By the end of the day, these should either be solved or um, the status should be set depending and a future due date should be set. That way we can quickly and easily see any tickets that require urgent attention and we, need to, we know when something needs to be followed up on because it's bright red and its status is open.